Hello, you've caught me playing The Witness, the new PS4 puzzle game from Clever Clogs designer Jonathan Blow that everyone's banging on about. Well, when I say everyone, I mean Dave, and when I say banging on, I mean being an insufferable smug git about all the puzzles he's solved, no matter where I am or what I'm doing. As irritating as this is, it did get me thinking about video game puzzles and how some of them are flippin' difficult. Here are six impossible ones I bet you'll never solve without a guide. And we're not including any from The Witness, by the way, because it's still too soon and we don't want to spoil anything. Anyway, number one, the knot puzzle in Broken Age. Now, I don't do knots at the best of times. I never went to scout, so I can't even tie one. I can barely do my own laces up for crying out loud, even if it was really urgent. Rob, we're evacuating! <sighs> So, as you can imagine, coming up against this unfathomable frayed monster immediately sent me into a cold sweat. But you don't technically untangle it yourself. You have to explain to father, for the, for the how to untangle it, based on what the knot looks like. Cue a classic bit of adventure game back and forth as you look for a thing that'll help you tell a thing, to solve a thing, to reveal a thing. The first thing being this not expert. <laughs> not expert, more like not an expert. <laughs> Yeah, this knot expert, to whom you have to describe the knot puzzle Like a bucket of fingers Which prompts her to draw three random diagrams that look like stuff You then have to describe these three diagrams to further based on what you think they are A baby playing patty cake, a banana, a finger And if you get them all spot on, he'll successfully unravel the knot for you Get it wrong and you'll need to travel back to the knot and expert for more diagrams Get it right on your first go and you'll unlock a trophy called Not Too Difficult Ha 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 Number two, the notorious goat puzzle from Broken Sword, a conundrum we featured before in Six Times Video Games told us to deal with it, and essentially that is what creator Charles Cecil is saying to the player here. With a solution so obscure and out of keeping with the rest of the game, it's practically impossible to work out unless you know the solution beforehand. Have you tried going down that ladder? Yes. Have you tried reaching that farm machine? Yes. Have you tried turning the PlayStation off and on again? Seriously. The reason the goat puzzle is so difficult is that the first part of the solution is an action your brain has already learned is a condition of failure, getting headbutted by the goat. But this here is the key window of opportunity. As the goat trots back to his position, you have to quickly interact with the farm machinery and George will sprint over to it. Bearing in mind, he's never really sprinted in the game up until this point. So again, you'd essentially have to unlearn the rules of the game to figure this out. Pull it into position and trap the goat the next time he charges you. If you did this without anyone telling you or writing into a magazine like you'd have had to do in the 90s, then please tell us in the comments and then I'll come in there and call you a liar. Oh, you've done it? Yep. Well, how did you do it then? Just move the farm machine. See? I told you, you should listen to me more often. Then maybe you'd finish some of these video games instead of just giving up after the first hour. On the subject of giving up, that's totally what I did in the original Metal Gear Solid when Kenneth Baker tells you to contact Meryl by looking up her codec frequency on the back of the CD case. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. As everyone now knows, what the wrinkly old prune meant was look on the back of the actual physical disc box, but this was 1998. We had no idea games could be clever. And so I and many helpless games gamers like me scoured the early stages of Metal Gear Solid looking for this damn CD case we'd obviously missed somewhere. My first playthrough was nine hours, literally four of which were spent pratting about by the computer terminals in the armory, convinced there was a CD case lying on one of the desks. I remember my friend Darren Escott told me how to do it eventually, at the same time he told me Master Miller was Liquid Snake and that Bruce Willis was dead the entire way through the sixth sense. He's not my friend anymore. Portal's next up, undoubtedly the coolest puzzle game of them all and so clever and funny and good looking and basically like that person at school you always wanted to be mates with but only spoke to you if you were randomly paired with them in PE. I bet they didn't figure out Chamber 18 though, did they? 
neither did I. It's like the culmination of everything you've learned in the game up until that point, a complicated mashup of jumping, platforming, switch flicking, and forcing your mind around more dimensions than is natural. The worst thing about it are all the timers, meaning you have to be quick and precise as you fly unnaturally through physics warping wormholes, instead of being slow and methodical, which is how I like to do things. It's basically like Portal's final exam every other puzzle is just revision for this one, except that I cheated and brought the internet in with me. But even then, Chamber 18 was difficult because writing down how to do it is almost as complicated as just doing it anyway, like shoot here and jump there and grab that box and fall off this ledge and <laughs> Still, at least you get a cake afterwards. Are you serious? Hands up, who remembers learning about Shakespeare at school? It was rubbish, wasn't it? All those nonsense pretend words like thou and doth and morrow. Only two things kept me going through those classes. One, I'd be playing Magic the Gathering at lunchtime at the back of the canteen. And two, I'd never need to remember any of it because whoever needs to know about some balding 16th century playwright in real adult life? Oh, I wish Mr. Phillips would have told me about Silent Hill 3 Shakespeare stanza puzzle because my god! Play the game on hard difficulty and this puzzle is ridiculous, requiring both innate knowledge of Will's work and the ability to multiply numbers by three. Like, I assumed I wouldn't need maths in real adult life either. Oh, I wish Mr. Win Stanley would have told me about Silent Hill 3 Shakespeare stanza puzzle because so you pick up the books on the floor, and then your task is to pop them back on the shelf in the correct order, thus revealing a code that enables you to continue the game. Fine, you think, trotting over to this door to read the helpful clue. Here's the helpful clue. In here is a tragedy. Art thou player or audience? Be as it may, the end doth remain. All go on, only toward death. The first word... Thing which cannot become a puppet of fate or an onlooker peering into the cage. Ah, oh, well solved! You're supposed to know which Shakespeare work each verse refers to. Then you're somehow supposed to work out that the last two verses don't actually reference the works, but instead instruct you on how to manipulate the numbers of the works on the shelf, the order of which the previous verses instruct you on to reveal the correct code. I don't even understand what I said just then in the VO, let alone this friggin' puzzle. And so I say unto you, Silent Hill 3, thy puzzle is doth impossible. Wherefore art thou walk through on the internet? Look at it. Last entry then, and I've saved the most ridiculous puzzle until last, the name of which is sure to turn any Fez fan into a jabbering wreck. Brace yourselves for the Black Monolith. It even sounds bad, doesn't it? Black Monolith. I don't, I don't even want to try and solve it, to be honest. It's not like I'd be able to anyway. Technically, it hasn't been solved, or I should say, it's been solved as in the code you need to obtain the final heart cube is online if you want to go and find it. But the understanding of the logic behind that code remains a mystery. When Fez first released, the answer was found by Brute Force, a community of thousands banded together and systematically tried out 78,125 possible solutions before stumbling across the right one. Proving that if something is too difficult, you just hit it really, really hard. I sort of like that the Black Monolith remains a mystery, much like its 2001 inspiration that transforms astronaut Dave Bauman into a giant floating space baby and then says, there you go, deal with that then. There's a romanticism in the refusal of Fez's final puzzle to reveal its secrets. Maybe it should remain unsolved. Maybe you should subscribe and like this video and let us know in the comments of your own puzzle woes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week for another Friday feature.